everyone. I have just had a crazy morning running around so far. Um, shot a commercial for a new local business, so that was super fun and exciting. Went and picked up some things for um, my friend Kaylee. Uh, Oh, don't get in there, Cupcake. She's getting into it. <laughs> uh, got some things for her um, upcoming shower, and there's like a little scrapbook page that I have to put together, and I'm not a big scrapbooker, so I didn't have like hardly any materials, and then I'm pretty sure I way overbought. So I thought it might be fun to show you all that stuff and just kind of go through the process with you. We're making like a whole weekend of it, and there's going to be a bridal shower that's actually um, sort of his and hers together, and then um, the girls are going to go out and have her um, bachelorette party. So we had to get these matching tank tops. They're coral. That's the color of the wedding. And they're kind of lace-like for part of it there on the back. Really cute. And um, this came from an Etsy shop. The shop is called Prim and Proper Boutique. And I think she does like a lot of this coordinated, you know, bridesmaid tank top <laughs> shirt situations. And I was late getting mine because I like had totally overlooked this detail of getting, you know, ordering your tank top. And so I ordered it like a week before I was going to need it. And I had messaged the girl on Etsy or emailed her and I said you know I'm really sorry to put you in this crunch but oh cute cupcake uh, <laughs> but is there any way you know you can get me that tank top like ASAP and I'll pay extra or whatever she made no bones about it got it right out to me it came like I ordered it on a Friday it came on a Monday but I just wanted to give a huge shout out and recommendation to her Etsy store because she just you know not only you know getting it out to me quickly but letting me know like yes you're gonna be fine <laughs> we can get it out fast and so I just thought that that's awesome you know, it's kind of like you're dealing with a small business in a way, and so that's really nice. All right, so I'm just kind of spreading out on the floor here, but um, a gift, the gift I'm going to put together for Kaylee for the shower, I found this adorable, like, quilted bag that I found at Walmart, and I wasn't really planning to do this, but once I saw this cute bag, I, I was just inspired to put together, like, a drugstore or, you know, makeup favorites gift bag. So I had a few things that I wanted to throw in there. Um, I had an extra of the Wet n Wild Don't Steal My Thunder eyeshadow palette. Palette. And this one just would look perfect on Kaylee. Um, the Comfort Zone palette. I have a little The Rock Spotlight Powder. Um, this came extra in, let's see, what was it? Cupcakes playing with the bag. Um, this came in like a Sephora Favorites kit, and I already had the full size of that. Same with the Chocolate Soleil, and she's been looking for a new bronzer, so I thought that would give her a chance to try those. And, oh my gosh, this is my favorite Mally um, High Shine Liquid Lipstick. The shade is called Blossom. This shade is just gorgeous. It's got a, some shimmer to it, but it's really, like, natural looking. So, um... I'm going to give her that. And then from the store today, um, I had told her about the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer, about how good it was, and I don't think she's been able to find it yet. And so I found that, and so I was excited to pick that up for her. Also, just another eyeshadow thingy, because, you know, we all love eyeshadows, and I thought this would be fun for her classic nude. Um, good for looks, you know, she does the weather on TV, so I thought that would be just a real wearable, natural kit for her. And I got her a lip butter. This is in Peach Parfait. And I don't know that she's tried one of these yet, but I thought this would be just a really wearable, natural one for her to, you know, see if she likes it. Got her a new brush because her brushes, if you've watched the What's in Kaylee's Makeup Bag video, one of her brushes was in horrible shape. And then, um... A uh, couple months ago when we got together in Nashville, maybe not even that long ago, um, I, she showed me her brushes again and she had like a dreadful looking blush brush that was, and she'll admit it, you know, like it was looking haggard. And so <laughs> I found this and I, I thought this might be a nice kind of multi-purpose brush. It says powder, but it's not that big. So I thought maybe she could toss that in with her routine and <laughs> it's not, it wasn't too pricey so she doesn't have to feel bad, you know, if it does get looking bad. <laughs> and she's also asked me about eyelashes. I've used the Demi Wispies on her and she loves the way they look so she can have an extra pair of those. Maybe we can use them, you know, when we go out for her bachelorette party. And I got some glue. Um, I don't usually get the dark from Revlon, but they this was all they had um, at the store, so that'll work fine. 
I mentioned, you know, the peachy coral kind of colors are for her wedding, and I just thought it might be fun to get her a nail polish that she could use. This is from Flower, and the shade is called uh, Gorgeous Gerbera, and I've heard great things about these polishes. I haven't tried them yet myself, but I thought, you know, it would be pretty just in with her little collection of makeup. So I'm going to take all that. I'm going to, you know, wrap the stuff up because it's so fun to open individual things. And so that's going to go in this bag for her and be her shower gift. And then Jonathan's shower gift. I'm going to give him this. This was on the registry. And I just thought, you know, it's a guy gift. I want to give her, if I'm going to give her something specific, I want the thing I give him to be something that he probably, you know, was the one to pick it out on the registry. I'm assuming. So that looks super cool. This is from Libby and it's the, um, there was a little nick on the box so they covered that up but um, it's called like the craft beer. Oh, craft brews, six pieces, glassware set. So all those different kinds. I thought that was so neat. Um, picked up a couple of cards and then get a load of this. I repeat, I am doing one page for a you know, like a scrapbook thingy. Page of pictures of me and Kaylee. It's not really like um, so much a bridal thing as it is a friend thing, I think. So I went and printed off some pictures because, of course, I had nothing because, you know, all my pictures are on Instagram. I don't do paper anymore. <laughs> so I had to go to Walmart, put some on a jump drive, print them off, and... Um, then I got all this stuff, and so I thought, sisters, happiness, love, joy, some of those words might be good. Like I said, I'm not a scrapbooker. Um, <laughs> I got, and I just got on a roll with all this cute stuff. Um, these, and these were like 99 cents a piece for these little sticker sheets, but I've got a couple pictures of her dog, Mia Bean, so I thought those paws would be cute. Uh, maybe some flowers as filler. I don't know. Butterflies. They're cute. I uh, just got some bling. Got to bling it up somehow. So if all else fails, just put some bling on it. Um, these cute little words. What are these? Cardboard punch outs. So I lot, I can use the one that says party with some of my pictures and the joy smile. So um, these are kind of all purpose. So if I keep on scrapbooking for somebody, I'll have some more of those. Designer paper. Um, I mean, it, it's like all the things you didn't know you needed until you saw it in the Walmart scrapbook aisle. Uh, so all kinds of pages that I guess I could maybe like put a picture on and layer it. Clear stamps. Look how cute these are. Um, I love this. Delight in the little things and a little flower. And so I guess you just stamp them. Like, I got a couple ink pads. I think one is... Oh, gosh, I hope that's not red. I wanted it to be black. I hope that's black. And then I got kind of a pinky purple one. And then this one that says, Thinking of you, the world always looks brighter from behind a smile and love you. So I thought I would use those on there. And, um, yeah. Some good old glue sticks. I also got I got a few other things um, just looking around in the hair aisle. Um, we were talking about this on the Beauty Broadcast Community chat yesterday, and people were talking about detanglers, and I was like, you know, my hair gets tangly a lot. Maybe I need a new detangler. And so somebody was recommending this Naughty to Nice conditioning detangler infused with keratin. Use it wet or dry. I would probably mostly use it um, like maybe after I get out of the shower, just help me get through my hair. It's fine and it tangles very easily. So somebody else recommended another kind, but I couldn't remember what it was, but I just remembered this name, Naughty to Nice. So I got that. Then get a load of this Pantene Ultimate, uh, Ultimate 10 BB cream for hair. So it's supposed to do like I'm thinking it's supposed to perform kind of like the It's a 10 or the Callista, um, you know, kind of all-purpose styling type cream. So I can always use things that help tame uh, static or flyaways and anything that's going to, you know, keep my hair looking soft, shiny. So I thought, what the heck? I feel like I've tried a zillion BB creams for the face. Might as well try one for hair, right? Also something I wanted to test out, um, this is from NYC. It is the Big Bold... Plumping. I'm trying to look through my camera at this. Yeah, plumping lip gloss. So that just kind of a nice neutral color. Actually reminds me a lot of that blossom shade I was just describing. So I'll try that out. And then in the Easter stuff, I thought these cups were adorable. How cute would they be in the makeup room somehow or, you know, in my makeup room closet organizing stuff. So I've got 
now a set of four of those, 97 cents, no big whoop, but they, I love that kind of checkered gingham style, so got that. So I'm going to get to work uh, getting this little scrapbook page together. Like I said, I've got some pictures. I'll show you how it comes along. All right, so here is my page. I'm very proud of it, but I didn't get to use as many pictures as I wanted to because um, they're all so big and I only have this one page. So um, I was quite the doodle bug in high school, so I uh, have no problem doodling some pictures in there. But there's me and Kaylee. This is a stamp. Um, I stamped all the way down the sides, and I this is a stamp as well. Uh, I just thought those were really cute. Even though, you know, I can write stuff on my own, the stamps are super cute looking. This was in Nashville. Um, I think it was outside the Wild Horse Saloon. We took our picture with that horse. <laughs> and uh, here's me and Kaylee, Tyler, and Jonathan. I love this picture of us just laughing our heads off about something. And um, this is Tyler. When we went down and visited, that's Tyler and Kaylee's dog, Mia Bean. <laughs> and um, we're just all such good friends. I wanted to make sure I included him. And Kaylee just loves her dog. So she, I thought she'd get a kick out of that and some little paw prints. And this quote here, um, if you are familiar with um, Wicked, Kaylee loves to sing this song, and she has quoted this to me numerous times. She has made me a video where she um, included this line, and so I know it's very special to her, and I feel the same way about her, so I put that in there because I knew you. I've been changed for good. So yeah, kind of a collage. I tried to use every square spot of that page to fill it with something, so I don't know if that's exactly right in uh, the big-time scrapbooker's world, but... Uh, I think it works for me, and I hope she likes it. I just uh, went out to the mailbox and noticed I got the new April 2013 Ladies Home Journal. It has Tina Fey on the cover, and a few pages in, there's some free beauty advice. And hey, there's mine. <laughs> Great little shout out to my blog, beautybroadcast.net, and it's all connected to um, the Ladies Home Journal Gloss Daily blog. That's what me and all these other great bloggers here contribute to periodically. So um, they've got a screenshot of that blog. That's what I did like the lashes thing for and the five um, like beauty game changers and things like that. Those were special posts that I did for this. And so there you can see Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, one of the first, probably one of the first beauty related things I remember finding online back in the day. So uh, that's really cool. Tyler left his uh, putting mat out here. You can like put it down the, the green, <laughs> so to speak here, and it goes into the hole or one of the little side parts and then it pops it back out at you. And Cupcake just can't get enough of like the texture on this mat. Like she loves it and she loves it if you can create like a little um, tunnel for her and then she will usually like shoot through the tunnel and and try to pop out at you. What you doing under there? Huh? Gotcha.